I should uh, really get to class. Yeah, me too. Yeah, we can walk together. I have class in the same building. Um, okay. Uh, well, Mom, maybe you can go for a walk in the park, or I could give you the keys to my dorm. Or I could just sit here and chat if Rebecca wants to stay. Oh, that won't be necessary. Oh, that would be lovely. Yeah. Have a good class, guys. So now we're just living in this little rental condo until I can figure out what to do. Oh, my God. You lost your husband and your home. I cannot imagine. And Randall was supposed to go to Howard University, but he decided to stay closer to home. He's had a tough year. We've all had a tough year. Well, I understand. I lost my husband last year. What? I had no idea. I was just blabbing on. I am so sorry. How is your family coping? Well, they are a tough bunch. Although Bethany was daddy's girl, they were inseparable. Are we supposed to take off our wedding rings? No, ma'am. I'm not taking off mine. Yeah, I'm not either. I don't want to. No, 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 not unless Harry Belafonte comes knocking. <laughs> <laughs> How do you seem so together? Because I just feel like at a moment's notice, I, I could completely break. Well, I've got a job that I'd love. Mm. A classroom full of wonderful students who are counting on me showing up every day to make them love books. My husband loved books. Yeah, we used to read in bed. Although usually he would only get a page in before he was snoring. And I would lie there for hours reading, listening to him snore. Well, it was about a couple of months ago I realized that I haven't read a book before bed since he passed. And I wondered how he would, you know, what he would think. What he would think about me if he knew I'd stop reading. So I picked up a book and started a new chapter in every sense of the phrase.